joking? No, I wasn't. Oh. No. Are we in America? Afghanistan, dude. This is really interesting. Look at that peacock over there. Hey. Hey. You want me to just go till it stops? Yeah, just go. Because that way, you know, it'll save it, you know, running up against uh, yeah, we won't. high ground or anything. Exactly. Right. I don't think you'll need this, but I'll just put it in there. No, it's way too cool. If you end up needing it, it means you have to move the whole thing by hand. So let's hope not. <laughs> oh, that's going to be tough. But we're going to play it as smart as we possibly can. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> I love the personality of your place. All right, skillet. All right. Okay, we'll, um, we we'll can just uh, drive around the back, you know, and somewhere in the vicinity of the llamas, we'll go through some procedures and cool. And they'll be right there when you uh, load up. Okay, a couple questions. You may answer these too. Uh, I do have a dog. She's highly trained. I talked to Vi about it. I've done some research on llamas. I want to teach the llamas. They're part. She's part of the pack. She's uh -huh. not a nipper. She's very kind. She's trained with livestock, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Just uh, take keep some separation for the first couple of hours until okay. uh, the llamas get used to them. Because uh, there are dogs that they will meet on the trail and they've met in the past that will try to bite them. Okay. And so until they real you know figure out that this dog will not do that, and of course in in their own defense, so if a dog does get you know back. Because if their legs get ruined, they're ruined, you know, they have to be put down. Which, oh. so, so, you know, they might, if the dog gets too close, they might kick. You know? Yeah. And they can break a rib. Yeah, his leg's almost ruined. We're going to put him down probably. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, otherwise you have to get a stretcher, you know, and haul him, you know. Oh, just, yeah. You know, just better just leave him there, you know. Okay. I am kidding. I hope you're right. Yes, yes we do. Okay. Are you expecting <laughs> snow? What's up with the hood, bro? I'm not used to this climate. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a good time with this <laughs> low lander. I think I'm gonna be the uh, limiting factor. We'll see. Maybe not. All the trees are budding. You want to rub their necks, they don't mind that like cats. You know, they like their necks yeah. scratched. Yeah. We can bring them outside. They don't like dogs, I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> Are you joking? No, I'm serious. But they'll, after okay. a few okay. hours, they'll get, get, used get used to it. Yeah. So Casper's probably the the most skitterish one. So he we'll seems it. Start with him. Which one's Casper again? The white. 
So the front, the I'll front. Be hypoallergenic. Let's see, the front is going to be the one with the breast part. That's going to be the front, so you put okay? It on him? Yeah. Okay, I'll help you hold him so you can pay attention to what okay. he's doing. Now he's, okay. he's the hardest, those two are, they'll just stand still. So I'll okay. do the hardest and then they'll they, they, um, he was just telling me that they're good to go for, with snow up to their knee joint. Yeah. But no deeper. Okay. Yeah, they may. That's what Vi was saying. Stop on you after that. <laughs> well, we'll see. We need to tie these things up to put them in the trailer. Like, after you put them in the trailer. After, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll right, float them up and then uh, we'll do the balance of the payment. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Can you find it? Semi clean place to sign that. <clears throat> the main thing is just uh, whenever you're, especially if you're on a dirt road, just don't go, don't go too fast. Okay. Uh, I don't want to pop. If you just, if you oh, go, I want to take it real slow. You keep it like 15, 20 miles. You know, it depends on how bad the road is. You know. Okay. Yeah. Hope your trailer doesn't break on me. It's pretty solidly constructed, as you know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like the bearings ball. going out or anything weird like that. We've maintained throughout the years. We've replaced the bearings and replaced the axles, and and, uh, and it's not like it gets overused. Maybe. Mama up. Panniers. That's a good boy. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna do an ultralight llama. I'm gonna sand these bags. Uh. I can still get catch them though, cause I can use a space on them. <laughs> do it. Real estate is full. With your stuff? No, dude. Snap them on, bro. We're paying for these. They're hauling their load. Trust me. Rookie. Left to right, Windstar, Rama, Casper. Suiting up the llamas. Loading up the gear. Mine's still dropping his load, bro. Go for mine too. I tried to balance it, but I just don't know how close I am to start walking. You know, some of it is the gear that I have loaded, because one bag's just more full. But I think, as far as weight, I'm good to go. Guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? I'm told it's not gonna ride so great. Well, probably, I think I might have to adjust the load as we go, but it's the best I can do for now. Come here, dog. Good girl. Yes, you're gonna carry your food up this time. Yeah. You're gonna carry your food up. It's not that heavy. So, come here. I think you'll be okay. Just come on this side. 
That's okay, baby. I forget how it goes. I haven't worn this on you for a... There we go. I think it goes like that. As long as we don't get spit in the face sometime during mm. this trip, I think that'll be a win. Good girl. Oh, yes, a good dog. Mm -hmm. Legs okay. I hope your legs okay. That's good, bro. Until the adventure unfolds. See how it goes. All right, buddy. Do you, anybody need uh, cords? Like bungee cords. I'm good. Man, this dry air, I'm just not used to it. I feel thirsty already. Let's see. Yeah, that didn't work. I've got room over here, too, on this if you want it. The snowshoes? Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. I can rearrange this rifle. Rifle soft against him, it wouldn't hurt him. You could like even put in that loop maybe. As long as he, it, I don't know if it'd interfere with his hindquarters. Good girl, what are you doing here? Dude, I'm not worried about this cord. So, but you know, we need it to not cut through too yeah. until we get there. Yeah. I don't know if he's getting it, so moving on. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good boy. Drawing, hang on. Dude. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Good boy. There's Rama the Llama, my Tauntaun for this nut and fancy adventure. Mm. Say hello to Campfire. Hey, what's going on? That's his steed, Casper. In the back, Crockett, Windstar. Pack llamas in the snowy mountains, attempting to make it to a high mountain lake. 
and the going's getting rough guys a lot more snow up here than we had wanted I knew it'd be snowy I just didn't know how much it's almost impossible to predict these guys are carrying about 60 to I don't know 70 pounds on their backs these llamas um, the lead llama is Rama here <laughs> he is not digging the snow and uh, he's an experienced packer we're not going to force him up and we're taking care of him you can see how deep he sunk in with his load that's about the limit of where they can go so that's kind of a bummer because we really wanted to make it to the lake and it's a long hard steep switchback hike to get up there past this area to this mountain lake where we're going you can kind of see the mountain peak up there see it that's in the vicinity where we're headed I just don't think these guys can make it and we don't want to endanger them either so we're gonna to have to come up with a plan C actually I don't even know if we'll be able to make our plan B which would, is a meadow up there. Oh, don't let him run away, there you go. Let me grab him. So I think what we'll do is find a place to uh, rope the boys and bivouac. And then maybe we'll uh, adventure from this basin right here. Crockett, thoughts? I'm game with that. Camp, thoughts? Sounds good. I know, he, he camp really wants to make it up there. We do too, but we can't endanger our, our boys here. Who would ever thought the limiting factor would be the llamas? The llamas, yeah. Crockett, by the way, his back is jacked up, and that's why we're running llamas, because he cannot carry a full load. He's only got about 10 pounds on his back, and I think they're all tampons. <laughs> I had, a rock in there. And graham cracker cookies and sippy cups. I had to pack something up for nothing. <laughs> it's his family pack for his, his family, his kids. <laughs> Allie's doing okay. She jumped out of the pickup, and we are worried about her, her hindquarters. We're acting funny, but she's good. And the llamas and Allie are getting along very well. Allie's been livestock trained ever since she's a puppy. She doesn't nip at them. They know that she's part of the pack at this point and they accept each other. So there you go. This is a uh, llama trek and the Nut and Fancy project. And we're gonna find a place to rope these boys, maybe find them some grazing material here in the spring thaw. That won't be it. Crockett, did you do that? I turned my back for a minute. I couldn't wait. Or was that your tauntaun? I, I took a moment when we stopped and uh. made the best of it. Good thing you brought all those diapers. <laughs> all right, guys. We were thinking we'd have a lot more hiking and trekking than this for mm -hmm. the shutdown, but it is what it is. Uh, honestly, I just don't know how we can take them up that, dude. I don't either. We, we, we just trek from here to here, and they're pulse tolling the whole way, and Rama, the lead guy he is not happy mm -hmm. that's what he's telling you right now he's just like i don't know guys you guys suck should have brought us up in the summertime we're only here because of your schedule huh i told camp i was like dude this is like the worst time to come up here because it's between the thaw either you come up when it's like totally frozen and it's powder snow because if this is all powder these guys can plow right through it. Yeah. But now it's heavy spring slush snow. It's almost like concrete once they post hole. And if they were to panic, they could hurt themselves. And yeah. we don't want them hurting themselves. This is a part of our trekking family, these boys. There's Windstar. And Casper has a really funny personality. He was really skittish and he hasn't been on a lot of hikes. Rama, we're told, is the best hiking slash trekking llama in, in the, the entire area. In the state is what I think the dude said. Oh, wow. I think it'll work. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Thanks for coming along, guys. This will be a fun adventure. Uh, you may not think so. <laughs> we got to protect the animals by knocking off a few limbs so they don't get stabbed in the eyes with them. Sorry, animals first, plants second. This would be a piece of cake in the summertime. So why do you do this in the summer? I don't know. Somebody's schedule. I can only make it in March. I think it was Allie's schedule. Yeah. Allie's to blame. No, this is actually very nice up here. There's no other people. It's just we got the snow condition that's a little bit tough for the animals. For these animals, Allie's having a ball. She's been whining, saying, come on, let's go. That's a Savage 22 bolt gun riding in that Ruger case with a Silencer Co. 22 Sparrow suppressor on it. 
Huh, kind of glad we brought the 22 now. What you think? Yeah, looks like we're gonna have some time to use it. Something to do. Maybe some uh, crafts, arts and crafts too. I brought my scrapbook. Two TMP snow shovels in action, digging out a place for the llamas to uh, bed down for the night. Giving them a little treat. Such a good hiker. So I'm glad you're with me. Yes, you are a good hiker. Yes, you are. Good girl. You're good with those llamas, too. Yes, you are. Good girl. Setting up camp. Allie's chilling out on her bed. Campfire and Crockett insist sleeping together. That's weird. They'll be bunk mates. Insert joke here. Okay, here comes one. They wanted to share a bivy sack, but through great effort, I talked them into sharing a tent instead. Hey, have you shown this how deep it is right here? I just took off my shoes and I started walking. That's what happened. I post hold. Are you guys not post holding where you're at? I'm light. I'm not 300 pounds. It must be, must be all my weight. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm I'm sinking. These guys are crazy. They prefer to eat the limbs off this tree, which is a scrub oak, I believe, rather than an apple. We've offered them. <laughs> Allie loves the apple. You can see how deep the snow is. It's a good three feet right here. I'm on top of it, the snow pack. Dude, right here is another good place. We could yeah. dig right here. We got a sitting log right there. I like to sit. Sitting rocks. We'll dig that out with the shovels. And the rock is another one. The rock is kind of exposed if the wind kicks up. Look at how cool these guys are. Are these not the coolest animals? Llamas are such sweet creatures. Each one has its own distinct personality. Um, Casper here is four years old. These are all geldings. Hey bud, how are you? How are you? You always pet them on their neck. Did he just spit at me? Was that you nutting? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, they're such sweet animals. They never sneeze on you. Did he sneeze or spit? That was a sneeze. Okay. I haven't seen him really spit in anger yet. Careful. <laughs> Might be a surprise. Is that in 14C28? Yes. That's ah, beautiful. I love the blurs. I really like the blurs. The I new do. ones the new ones have a, a glass breaker on the back of them. Mm -hmm. Are you guys doing all right? Yeah, we're doing all right. Just, you know, blades and stuff. Just work. You're yeah, right. we're talking. You're right. He was good to bring along. <laughs> Have him do the manual labor over there while we're talking about blades. Check this one out. <laughs> we're having camp dig out our fire pit while we're sitting over here talking himself. steel. Do we have another shovel? Uh, I think it's an operative. We lost it. We're going home. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful shape though? Check that. That is a gorgeous blade. Classic drop point, full flat ground, hollow rivet tubes, nice ergonomic handle. <laughs> I like how it's not too thick either, so it's lighter weight than that yeah. Vox Rald, which I also love. We'll thump on that a little bit on this trip maybe. That's 154 CM steel. That's a, I call it the Poseidon. I think it's supposed to be said Poseidon Light Traveler. <laughs> Even Allie's over here visiting about the blades. <laughs> That's a great knife, dude. I, I really like this knife. Where's your fixed blade? Where's my fixed blade? Right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Admit it. Admit it. It was one of those trips I left at home on accident. It's sitting home on the counter. <laughs> oh! At least you brought his snowshoes. Yeah. 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Those are in the trunk of my car. Dow! <laughs> Double dow! So we probably could have had a really good time. We, we probably would have had to stop sooner or later because he would have been post hauling sooner in the deeper snow up there. Isn't that a comfortable handle that on is. that? That's nice. It's nice, really nice and long. It's roomy. The handle is. So oh, it gives yeah, you lots of room on it. No Funny sharp corners. Mm. Hey, buddy. Thanks for your hard work out there. <laughs> hey, you're demoing that, sh that Lifeline shovel for me, man. How's that working? It works good. You know, you need to take breaks. Why don't you give it a shot? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Got the tent set up. We've got our base camp going. Are we going to hit it? Let's go. Let's do it. So the game plan is we're going to day hike. Alley, camp, myself, and uh, bust up at least above that ridge, see what we can find. And then Crockett's going to stay back here, watch the, the other crew. <laughs> These guys right here. And maybe get a little fire prep going. And they make better conversation than these two, so that's I'll a hang given. With these guys, that's a given. <laughs> How you doing, Dogness? You're probably right. Are you a blade guy? To me, camp. Yeah, you. A yeah. real blade guy. I don't know. Like you talk about it off camera <laughs> type, like you and I do all yeah. the time. <laughs> what you got, man? I yeah. think I'm a shovel guy. We got a. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shovel is that? Is that a lifeline shovel? All right, so we're we're talking blades now. This is uh, again. The Light Traveler by Tops. This is a just a light sheath knife that I've got on my side. My other blade right now is going to be a Benchmade Mini Reflex that came along for the trip. You saw, and then I have a Victorinox Cadet with me, and then change of pace, a Leatherman CS4. I think that's the name of it. It's going to mm -hmm. be my multi-tool on the trip. So if we do any traps or anything, I'm going to be using that. And we saw yours. You got a blur. Got a blur. Okay, sweet. Knife check. We saw this off camera, yeah. but I want to show these guys. I've got the uh, Spyderco Enduro 4. Beautiful. VG10. Yeah. FFG. You can see you got a lot of wear and tear on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, use it for uh, trimming the fingernails. Mm -hmm. And I also have... Trimming paper on the review table. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the gifts I get. Where's the... Uh... This knife has seen a lot of use. I've done at least a, a review on it. Look how dirty it is. Farmer. Yeah. That's a great knife to pack up. It's got a saw and, like you are saying, a punch all on mm -hmm. it. Which I think up here is huge. Which works great under the fingernails also. You bet. Listen to them hum to each other. What are you thinking, Rama? Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? They're probably glad they're not hiking anymore. Yeah, okay. Rama was really puffing up that hill. He was. He was breathing hard. It looks like you got some 5'11 pants there, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. These are the True Spec. Oh, True Spec. That's yeah. right. Awesome. You've got your... Look at these. These are the ones I always wear. What are they? Yeah, you wore those on Glacier Call, right? Uh, mountain Hardware. Mountain Hardware. And that is a Mountain Hardware uh, Drifter tent right there. It's just an X-Frame tent. I'm wearing the L.O.B. Wolf pants. Here we are in a gear show again. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get going. We don't have that much daylight, so... We may not be back until after dark. I'm cool. Uh, and so, if you hear three whistle blasts, things are bad, mm. okay? They get three, pause, three, that means something's bad. If you hear uh, one long, that means we're good and we're coming back. Okay. You'll hear a one long sustained whistle, just whoo. Now, do you have, you have service? Yeah. You have service? I haven't checked. I we're have. in a pocket. We may, Some of us have cell phone yeah. service here. I'll try to call you, but you've got T-Mobile. Yeah. Wah, wah. <laughs> it is up here in these mountains. <laughs> No good. So it's weird. I mean, somewhere where we're at right now, you'll hit you'll hit cell service. Other places, you just won't. Usually, where you and I go, we do it's not. Out. It's completely out. Like where Jeremiah Johnson was, there ain't no cell service out there. This is actually pretty interesting that you can stand behind this guy, <laughs> and he's totally chilled. These are good creatures. Good creatures. This is Rama. Hi, buddy. And then. Uh, Casper just sneezed in my face a little while ago. I almost thought he was spitting at me. He's allergic to the snow. Probably allergic to me. This is Rama, our lead pack animal. Chilling out. Windstar. Casper. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Thinking about taking them over and see if they'll graze on that sage. But they have to traverse some two, three foot snow to get there. Unlaid, maybe they would have an easier time with it. They have really thick coats. 
these llamas do so I think they'll be fine tonight I don't think it's gonna get super cold up here maybe I don't know uh, low 20s would be my guess I'm snuggling with the llamas but and I thought they smelled not bad on the outside <laughs> There it is. There's a reference. There it is. What, what's that? Next. I knew it was coming. It had to be integrated somewhere. Uh, I'm calling these our tauntauns. That looks pretty good, actually, Camp. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I can't quit. Good. We like work ethic up here. God, rocks when you have work. I mean, I'm I mean help. It rocks when you have help. I see why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Say that all again? No. Camp was saying, first time snowshoeing. I feel like a real man. I was not. You totally said that. I was not. There's Crockett getting the wood ready as we head on up. As opposed to the normal girly figure, figurine, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bail out. <laughs> we know, go. I know what you're saying though. Let's go. I've been waiting for you, Holmes. Off we go. I've established a signal of, or a pattern of signaling Crockett. If things are good, if things are bad. Uh, cell phone is very spotty up here, it turns out. Most of our batteries, since they've been in seek mode, are running very low. Imagine that. We'll just play it by ear. The hike to the lake, if we would have done it today, we are gaining 4,000 vertical feet. 4,000. It is a butt kicker hike. We're getting ready to do a lot of that right now. Let's go. We'll see how far we can get up. I can get up at least four feet. Yeah. I talked him into bringing his big pack. He did have his little Kmart pack on. <laughs> Just in case this is longer than we anticipate. Imagine that. You go prepped. Fire makings on board. Medium sized survival knife. No saw. Not now. Our game plan is just to bounce on up here, come back to base camp, and have a nice roasted llama dinner cooked by Crockett. Wait, did I say that? I didn't mean no, that. No, no, no. Beans. We love our llamas. Part of the crew. Yeah, we were worried at first about the llamas just because they were it was just that wild card factor by the way yeah camp talks non-stop he does constantly now i'm not going to talk <laughs> well, try making no video way alone. no way <laughs> i don't believe you well i do have the name campfire talk talk is in your name we took the tails off the snowshoes. Much better. More maneuverability. Man, feeling the burn. What? Help me out. <laughs> Camp just fell over. I missed it on camera. Oh, I was gonna help you, bro. I'm checking our destination. Oh my gosh. Trail. That happens, man, don't worry about it. Hey, you didn't introduce the knife you've got on your horizontal strap there my friend oh yeah well my hands are freezing why aren't you wearing <laughs> gloves man i have them but let's see uh, i make the videos i post the videos <laughs> i don't know what else to do the cold steel srk oh yeah yeah it's a beautiful knife great knife and you made that sheath right camp that's me yeah that's a nice nice job kydex got a tech lock on the back yep I don't know if you can see that. We were talking about that color, how we Ooh, both like it. I got some snow in the booty. Did you? Oh yeah. Let me... Where's your gators, bro? I don't have any. It's oh, snow in goodness. Tennessee. <sighs> man up, man up. Okay, this trail is gonna be hard to find. Um, and this, I don't think is it. So I'm gonna break left here in a second. Dude, I had to get that on camera. Come on now. All right, don't walk back into a snowshoe, check. Oh my God.
Going's a little bit tough. Deep patchy snow, bare ground here in the springtime, coming up on springtime. Peeling off the snowshoes for less energy. We got some brush busting to do through that too. Super fun. Yeah. Fun to go through that stuff. Yeah, got your gloves on, that's good. Told you I had gloves, they were in my Kmart pack. Show them your scratched up hands. You don't have to. No one wants to see that. It's not bad, just a couple. A little bit. Working, working, working. There, right, <laughs> the strap that goes beneath the arch. Woo! So we, we took the shortcut to the trail, right? We're just trying to find it, actually. So occluded in snow this time of year. I don't think this is quite it yet. I'm gonna tie up these snowshoes for a bit. Okay. I'm gonna blaze ahead just for a little ways. Sounds good. I'll be right behind you. See if I can save us some energy. Not a good environment for tennis shoes. You gotta have the ankle support here. See, this is a kicker you forget to film. Because you're working so hard, you know. Some good views out there, dude. Yeah. See the city down below? Worth the work. Yeah. It's a lot of work busting up there, huh? Yeah. The, wor the worst part isn't so much the snowshoeing. It was going through the, the scrub oak. Brush busting. Man. That blows. It owned me. We've been doing it for the probably an hour and a half now. Yeah. Finally getting to where we're getting ready to crest. We're in the evergreens now. Losing our sunshine. Just beautiful views on the sunny slopes over there. Crockett tendon llamas down below. <laughs> Hopefully getting a fire going. Yep. Allie's doing great. Reaching the top of this ridge, this opens up, if I remember from my trip in 2003, to a really spectacular meadow. I have it as a waypoint in my GPS. I'll show you guys right here. We're almost there, almost there. We've done this without the benefit of a trail. We're on top of about five, six foot of snow right now. No way the llama crew would have done this. No way. Or brush busting where we were. Hey, you see that far slope there? Yeah. We would have hiked all of that with the llama crew. 
getting up to the lake that's crazy on switchbacks and then there's more it goes like this over another ridge and it keeps going hmm. just now um camp and i just climbed about a thousand vertical on that last jaunt maybe around 900 yeah and that was kind of our goal was to get on top of this ridge here yep and we're here we're here <laughs> let me mark a point dude 1200 vertical it's 82 here is it really yeah sweet 82 and i think it's what it can camp like 65. hey dog alley no alley no don't go over there and waste energy doing that come here i've got to get my camera out now okay we're gonna hike over here just a little bit camp is uh he's not so much up for a lot more hiking I want to get some pictures too and my camera's in the pack. Okay. You want to go make a move for the lake, dude? <laughs> I'm Truth, good. Let's truthfully. go. Let's go. <laughs> There's no <I'm> way. Good. <laughs> okay. Let's see where we're at. Man. Yeah, we're going to have to hike down to get there. Uh, it's a pretty cool view. Dude, what is that? I don't know, maybe rock. it's one of those huge ant hills they have out here. Seriously, they'll have ant hills that are six feet tall. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, termite hills too. Going to the meadow. And we're going to have to hike all the way up again. Look how pretty this snow is. It's like a postcard here. It's like Switzerland. We started our hike in Afghanistan, and now we're in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> we did. It was yeah. a different world. Kabul. It really was. To get the, the llama boys. Really cool people, though. Very I'm, laid yeah, back. And I'm glad we have the llamas. I mean, what a different kind of trip they make, you know? Yeah, totally. It's fun having them. They add personality to the trip. Kind of like Allie does. Hi, huh, girlfriend. She's doing awesome. She is just tearing it up. Is the meadow down there at the bottom? We're looking at it right now. See that white field right there? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm to get cold. Oh, you can layer. Yeah. Layer up. How's your feet doing? You're not cold there, are you? What's that? You're not, your feet aren't cold, are no, they? No, no, no. Just my arms. Okay. Yeah, you got short sleeve, dude. Oh, definitely. Well, I've got layers to put on. Good, because we're camping the night up here. Yeah. You're camping with Allie. She'll keep me warm. Back in the, dark. the knife for this trek is the Buck Punk. My survival knife. Not planning on needing a blade, so I'm taking a mid-sized blade in case we got stuck here and we had to stay the night. Make a fire. We have arrived. This is it. Yeah, at least, look at that, dude. Pretty nature. Whoa, that is awesome. Not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time he's, we're coming up and he's going, yeah, yeah, man, this sucks, but it's totally worth it. He's been real positive, actually. Yeah, this is amazing. And seeing this landscape as everybody that's watching this sees it, but coming out here and seeing it for real is, is amazing. Two different things really, huh? Yeah. I, I do the best I can showing it, but experiencing it. And actually experiencing the work it takes to get up here like you have been doing for the last hour and a half. It's easy. <laughs> it's cake. <laughs> he was crying in the woods back there. No. We've had a really awesome weather though coming up. Get the tripod out. Definitely. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. It was worth it. Now the lake once again that we'd be going to be actually right through that rocky outcropping is where we go. We kind of switch back here, but 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 over there to the right. Come down to the rocky outcropping and then we have to keep switch back and you can't see it from here. 
and it's nestled over here and it's just gorgeous. It's a small lake um, and on this ridge here is some serious and technical scrambling and that will take you over to another canyon. Just gorgeous up here. Take a couple photos. You want to get down in there and get a picture of you? Well, can you can't put on a timer, I'll get it too. Yeah. This is awesome. It is dark out. Let me change my exposure. You can see better. Bonk, bonk. There we go. Again, much darker than it looks in the camera. Should have been here a little bit earlier if Crockett hadn't detained us so much. Oops. Uh, you can feel the cool air sinking plus with the sun going down. It's cooled off a bit. Yeah. Your temperature is dropping rapidly now, huh? We're going to go over here to this rock. Heat up some hot chocolate at the base of this gorgeous mountain basin. Man. Take a breather. It's hard getting here. I'll catch up to you real quick. I gotta get a. Oh, wait. Yeah, take some time to layer. Do it to it. Got the pocket rocket. A little bit of instant heat up here in the mountains. Time to upgrade to the fleece gloves as the temperature drops. I can feel some of the dexterity leaving the fingertips. I saw when you're picking your nose back there, it seemed like you didn't have the same level of coordination no, you no. had earlier. No, I, I, I shoved too far. If you fell off that rock, I would film it. Camp's over there changing into another layer of uh, Long John's and Dog Friend has earned a good treat. You've been such a good hiker. You get a trio bar. Hey, you're boiling. Okay. Oh, such a good girl. Let's see how the spot message went. Scent. Good girl. Do you like that treat? Huh? Do you like that treat? You want another one, don't you? No. Why don't you vomit it on me again? Silly dog. What is that? Yes. Oh, that's pretty over there. That is pretty. It won't. Lowlander. Said it won't. This, this rock's pretty warm. It feels good on my feet. <laughs> My fingers get cold very easily. It's one reason I'm such a proponent of love.
another epic shot. <coughs> How's that hot drink treating you? That's great. I can't believe how bright it is out here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hiking back to base camp using a GPS 60CX, trying to intercept my old track that I saved in 2003. Trying to re-intercept it. The trail's totally not visible in the snow. So I'll be going off GPS track alone. What I'm trying to avoid is that brush bust that we did coming up. I don't want to do that again. So I'm going to try to hit that ridge, the trail. It's a longer hike down but I think if we can get it and stay on it, which is going to be a challenge at night, we can avoid a lot of brush busting. That's what I'm doing right now. Wish us luck. If all else fails, we can just break left and uh, go straight down. Brush busting again. Focus camera, focus. Oh, it's not going to show it because I'm in night mode. Maybe it will. You can see it right there. Ball's on the trail right now. Trick will be staying on it, as you can see. Oh, let me increase my light here. You can't tell there's any trail at all here. <laughs> no, um, it's just a snowpack. Yeah, it's just a huge snow hill. And actually, it was quite steep over here. Where Allie almost started trucking down. She's over here. Yeah, I just didn't want to waste the energy going down there and have to come up. It's beautiful. I Isn't keep it? saying that. It is so awesome, though. It is though. so awesome. Look at that. Hiking down. We'll go meet Crockett at the campfire. Yeah, they never see this. Look at this, guys. This is a city far below in the valley as we're up here in the frigid mountains. Look at that epic view. Let me go to night shot for you guys. Oh, now the view just got worse. What do you mean? Look at that, isn't that cool? Being here in person, you'd really appreciate it. It's just gorgeous. It's like you're in an aircraft looking down. That's how high we are. And yet we're snowshoeing up here. And it's cold and we have beautiful weather not getting snowed on oh, nice moon and stars wow just gorgeous let me come out a night shot show you the city again that's the unusual thing about this location that I chose for this hike is it is relatively close to civilization but it is very remote and how hard it is to get to. Yeah, I mean, if one of us were to get hurt, we're on our own. That's right. There, are, There's no one coming up here quick. If I spot message, messaged it, maybe we'd get a sheriff's team up here in the morning. Pretty much on your own. You, I am not dead. I am very much alive. I, I am at 8,000 feet elevation with nothing up here. We did a, a day hike to the summit and we're looking out on a city and it's all lit up. Yeah, it's nighttime. He, he's down at the camp keeping the fire going and watching the llama. Anyways, but you kind of called me at a great moment. I mean, you called me on top of a mountain. In epic wilderness, civilization in sight, and yet we have a long hike ahead of us. I am. I love you. Maybe I should deduct some man points for him taking a cell phone call from his wife during a hike. Nah. She's worried. It's good to keep the wives in the loop. Be. Out with you alone. You may never get back. 
camp to try to get some pictures of the valley down below. It's hard with the low light. Dude, freaking break the tripod out and do it right. I've, Put it in night night shot mode. I've got my pack here. Get off. All right. I've got steady hands. I told him to use a tripod, but he's he's good with this technique. Totally good. Dude. Did it turn out? Dude, it's amazing. I don't need any more. <laughs> I got it. Did you get it? I got it. That's cool. Let's get back to town. Yeah, I feel bad. Crocky's all down there alone. Just gave him a whistle blow to let him know we're on our way down. I'm I think that's his light enough. down there. I can't feel my middle finger. Your glove system sucks, dude. Whatever. You suck. It does. It's you fine. got like, what do you got? Like, racquetball gloves or something? No. Yeah. Don't distract me. Nice and toasty. Where did my glove go? Oh, there it is. Well, we'll be going here in a minute, Dognus. Hmm. Lights on full bright so you can see where we're at. Look at this snow slope we're on. Goes all the way up there. Top of the crest. All the way down here. It's not focusing very well. Let me come out a nice shot. Dudes, it's a big slope. We're just skirting like the side of a mountain right now. Yeah. Using these poles a lot to kind of stabilize me. Totally. And do those snowshoes rock or what? Oh man, this is the first time I've worn snowshoes. You probably saw my embarrassing moment earlier when I fell on my back and no one really rushed to my aid to help me up, but. Busy. But uh, no, they're they're great. I mean, Denali don't, Classics MSRs. Don't walk backwards in them. Uh, those crampons there, the steel cleats, just grab the slope. They got steel on the side there too. Just great stability. Like I said on my tabletop review, I have no desire to get any others at this point in TMP. Not for what's going on. I wouldn't say it's really technical where we are. Kind of steep. No precipices that we'd slide off of up here. No avalanche danger at all. This stuff is like concrete. Now, if it dropped like three inches of powder on it, like I was telling camp, very dangerous because this is a very hard frozen snow mass, and you put an unstable snow mass on top of it. Ugly.